Go. Remove yourself. Watch now. She needs him a lot. That she remove yourself. You can go now. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be telling you guys how I moved abroad alone at the age of 19 and how I got my Chinese student visa to come study in China. Please like this video, subscribe, and then keep watching until the end. Thank you. I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can't hide Hey guys, how is this camera doing? Welcome back to my channel and today's video. If you're a new subscriber, you're welcome to my channel. Please like this video, subscribe, and make sure you watch till the end of this video. And also check out my other videos on this channel. And if you're an old subscriber, you are welcome back, like this video, and then let's get started. Today's video is a little bit different. I think it's sort of like a guide of how to get your Chinese student visa and i'm gonna be telling you my own experience also i must apologize i'm at a park in Chuanzhou city china I'm, I'm gonna put the name of the park on the screen because like i've forgotten the name of the park it's gonna be a lot noisy i have no idea if this wind is kind of interrupting the sound for you guys but i am so so sorry and also i hope you guys can enjoy the view it's so beautiful i love this place I chose to record this video in the park because it's where i'm most calm with the fresh air and the river view and just everywhere just beautiful yeah that's why i chose the park it was either 2018 or 2017 i remember i started planning on going to study abroad first found some schools in in europe but i was trying out some applications and everything i could not get any valuable source or information that can help me go study in europe so i self kind of gave up and then coming towards 2018, I met a friend online on Facebook specifically who introduced me to the idea of studying in China. Up until then, I had never thought of it. I started my first ever application. I was applying to the University of Nimbo. Some unfortunate accidents happened and I didn't get my visa because my JW202 kind of expired. I felt a little heartbroken and then I became really interested in studying in China and then I started going to the internet, actually browsing about China, researching and getting information, universities and everything. And then I finally found a valuable source and information, information of Sick House China. And so I made my applications online. And so I applied, put in my details, my info. It didn't even stress me at all. It was so easy. A few days after my application, someone texted me on WhatsApp. Cause like I included my WhatsApp details, my WhatsApp information, and someone texted me on WhatsApp. And then I was like, uh, who are you? It was a Chinese number. And so I, I was like, I asked them, who are you? How did you get my WhatsApp? And then he just said, hi, Derek, how are you? You submitted your information to our company and you are interested in coming to study in China. I said, yes, yes. That was how they gave me the whole details of application procedures and everything. So then it started. I didn't trust them at first. I was like, who messages you on WhatsApp telling you? Because my my experience with applications online for, for, for students, um, my, hello? He, she just literally stopped to look at me. My experience with making applications online for studying abroad, uh, they don't come to you, you come to them. And before you can get any information from them, it's 
difficult. It's stress. You're gonna go, have to go through a lot of drama. I could not do it. And, but then with time, I actually had a conversation with them. We became friends. My own agent, that was Andrew mine. Because like what they do on tickets is if you apply, they're gonna assign you an agent who's gonna speak to you. I started talking to her. We actually became friends. We were talking, we were video calling and everything while my application was in process, right? And so that was how I began my application. I applied, I submitted the information that they asked me, and two weeks after, I got an admission into Shadow Jackson University right now. Then that was just the beginning. That was the first step. Like, I was thinking, oh my god, so when can I come to China? When, when, when can I go for my visa? When can I? Baby, it is the first step. I just began. The next thing that I needed to go get my visa is JW22. Because like after you, hold on, let me set this camera. So after you get your admission, for you to go get a visa at the Nigerian embassy or any country that you are in, you need a JW22. It's the one that says that you can now go for your student visa and come to China. <sighs> JW202 is the bitch. That one, it takes forever. Normally, if you're lucky enough, you can get your JW22 in two months, right? Mine took four months. Mine took four months to come. And then when it finally came to me, um, I checked the details. There was a mistake. My name was misspelled because my name is, my full name is Onyebuchuku. And they spelled my name incorrectly and it's not the same thing as as it is on my passport because my full name is Onyebuchuku which is where by the way I get my Buchi from because Onyebuchuku means who is God but then in Igbo language which is my native language in Igbo God also can be called Chuku and Chi so that's where my name Buchi comes from by the way so it's my real name okay so they misspelled the Onyebuchuku which it's not their fault because my name I have a very long ass name my name is the longest name on the register everywhere so i'm not surprised that they misspelled it and they brought it to me i had to tell them that it is not correct i showed it to them they had to apply for another jw22 which took two months to come and that's six months right yes my jw22 fucking took six months to come but then once i got my jw22 I flew immediately because like I, I live in Port Harcourt, my family house is in Port Harcourt. I flew immediately from Port Harcourt City, the river state Nigeria, to Abuja with my mom, I remember. And I started my application. Now, for Nigerian students who want to come to China, these are very important information that you see every single document that you have on that list, on that on that file of yours that you are applying for a Chinese student visa with, you have to authenticate all of them, all of them. I'm not sure about other countries, but for Nigerians, you must authenticate all of them. Then you have to get a seal for your, um, what is it called, police certification? For, for your criminal record, you have the, who is this child? Hello boy, how are you? What's your name? My Your Tilda? Huh? What's your name? You don't know your name. <laughs> He's so cute. Look at him. Say hi to them. Anyway, get noisy. You can go now. Bye bye. Go. Remove yourself. Remove yourself. Watch it out. She needs him alone. That's she. Remove yourself. You can go now. <laughs> this way. <laughs> Anyways, you have to authenticate all of the documents. You have to get a, a red seal from the judge for your police certificate, criminal record. And all of those things are kind of a little bit expensive. Yes, so after you get all of those things, I think I applied for my student visa. And then I went to my interview. So nice. It was actually a very fun story. And um, the guy that interviewed me was a Chinese person. He was so unserious about life that time. He looked so tired and exhausted, which was a lucky thing for me because he was his mind was not fully there. So he was busy. He was getting 
his, his tea. I even bumped into him in the bathroom because I was so nervous. I had to go into the bathroom for, for refreshment to wash my face and everything. And so I just peacefully, I was, when I got to the office on the day of my interview, I was so nervous. I had to go into the bathroom for refreshment. I washed my face and everything. Mm, thank you. And while I was there, on my way out, I bumped into this Chinese man with his tea kettle and his shirt was untucked and he was so not smiling with anyone that day I bumped into him and I was like, I was like oh my god I'm so sorry I'm so sorry I'm a Hanaga. and then he was like okay it's okay it's okay he wasn't even paying attention he didn't care but I spilled the tea on his shirt but then he didn't even care so after that I went back to my chair I was so nervous I was waiting he went it's my turn for the interview I went into the office and to the to my interviewer and guess who that person is the same person that i bumped into in the bathroom i thought i was in trouble but then funny enough he was still very busy so he was fighting with his family right and he was texting <laughs> and so i was like oh okay honey it looks like you have a busy just just quickly just quickly give me my visa so i can leave this place and so he was like he just asked me one question about my mom i told him my mom's name i was like mm, okay okay no problem just take this <laughs> yes uh, uh, Anyways, so yeah, you can Hello. Yes. Nida Minze. Yo. Yo. Nida Minze. Yo Yo your Qingwei. Okay, so guys, his name is Your Qingwei and he is a skater. Liu Bingxie. Yeah? Liu Bingxie. Oh, so, uh, yeah, he's... I have a new friend here with me today. He didn't even look at my face, he just looked at my name, looked at my mom's name, and then took my passport and just and then said, okay, you can go. I was like, aren't you going to ask me two million questions as you ask other people? I was like, just go, just go, you got it, like, congratulations. So I was so lucky is that my interviewer was busy with his family is that he forgot to um, ask me too many questions and then that's how I got my Chinese student visa. So after I got the visa, the, the next thing I did was I booked my flight the next day and I left Nigeria in, in like one month and yeah, that was how I came to China, I have lived in China for three years now. This is my third year in China. I think next year is going to be four years and I'm going to be graduating by next year. I don't know what I'm going to do once I, I'm, I'm done with um, my bachelor's degree, but maybe I might just do master's. I'm not sure if I should do my master's here in China yet or not. Which way? Mm -hmm. okay. Sure. Oh, so this boy does not want to let me record in peace. But anyways, um, yeah, guys, so this is how I got my Chinese student visa. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you uh, enjoyed it and I hope you got information. Uh, and so much for dropping by. See you in my next videos. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.